In this video we're going to look at the Options button. So I'll click on the Options button here and it brings up several device and software settings options tabs. The first one, the device options tab, will most likely come up as soon as you first time you run the software. This is where you can select your document camera, pick a resolution, and then click Save. This is what will bring your camera image up on the screen. And now you'll have an image like this, a live camera image. If we click on options again, you can go in and set your recording options, your snapshot and snap set options. These typically are left at the defaults for the application. So it most likely will be set at Windows Media with a 480p resolution for recording. But there are lots of other settings you can change here. You can change whether you want the files to be named automatically with a date and time like they are here, or do you want to be prompted for a name before you save. I find it's easier to let it auto name it, that way you're not taking time during class instruction naming files. The flow of the work will be in instruction will be better if you let it auto name them for you. When you go to record, there will be a countdown timer. If you need to adjust this countdown timer, you can just go here and change it. So if you want a little more time to prepare before it starts to record or less, you can change that. You can also change the default location for where your work will be saved. By default, it's saved to the videos folder under the user directory. The settings for snapshot are pretty much the same. The auto name, where do you want to save them, and then here though you can select whether you want JPEG, bitmap, PNG, or other file formats, and you want to apply high, medium, or low image quality. Higher the quality, the bigger the files. A setting here you may want to take note of is the enable flash on screen. By default, the program will put a flash image up when you take a snapshot that helps you know that something happened, but some users don't like that feature, and so you can turn it off, and that will take that flash screen off when you click the snapshot button. Under snap set options you can choose what format you want your snap set files to be saved in and what format you want your snap set folder uh, images to be saved in. I'll go over these in more detail when we talk about the snap set options uh, when we talk about the actual snap set tool here. You can customize the application click on these frames and wherever turns yellow you can click on them and change the color of the application. You could also add some custom images here if you want to put like your school mascot image or something like that, or your name. You can use a background color, a text label, or an image. You can save those as different skin formats if you want, and then load them later. And then finally there's a 3D tab. This enables you to switch the view into 3D mode. If I click save, it adds a red and blue filter. Typically, you're going to want that to be turned off. Click Save. Okay, so those are the options available under the Options tab. The one you're going to want to know, or you'll use the most often, is just the selecting your video device and setting the video size. We'll talk about this picture-in-picture -picture settings in a different video. And if you plan to record using the document camera um, microphone, then you'd want to go here and select Microphone under Audio Device and click Save.